Welcome to GT Live. GT Live, we're back and it's Monday. It is indeed Monday, Monday. another day, another live stream. And today we have ourselves a very special announcement. Ooh, what is it? What is it? Well, it's either that we're playing a new Bendy Link Machine game or that we have GT Live hoodies. It's one of the two. I genuinely couldn't tell, which is why I asked. I know. There's so <laughs> many exciting things happening on the live stream. Wow, what, what a great sweatshirt you're wearing. Oh my gosh, yeah, that's one of the exciting announcements, Wow, Stephanie. can you show that off some more so I can look at it from every angle? Uh, well, yes. Yes, I can, <laughs> Stephanie. Thank you so much for asking that. On the front, you'll notice that there's a caffeine molecule. Whoa! It's very reminiscent of the caffeine molecule I sit behind all the time. What? And very indicative of how I'm able to survive in my day-to-day -day life at this point. That's true. <laughs> By imbibing a lot of caffeine. Huh? Wow, also there's a back design, holy cow. It's almost like there are many elements of this live stream present in this wonderful hoodie that was made especially for GT Live. Wow, you might assume that and you'd be correct. Is that Skip? Uh, yes, it is not and a And you, with longer cat. hair, also Pikachu, also me, looking right, that, especially that is, awake. That is a, a self-portrait of me before I got my hair cut. That is a self-portrait. <laughs> yes. right that, that is a photo. If, if you've forgotten what I look like, That's, that is, this it, is it right there. That is what I look like. And he, not much of a tan there either. Uh, and, then, and then a clap, okay, indicating okay. the clap. And a hat. A nice pale green color because I'm always just slightly nauseous. Yeah, that is correct. That, wow, that if only I had a way of getting a hoodie like this clap for myself. It's, it's, it's the clap and half hoodie, everyone. It is. It's for GT Live. Whoa, oh my gosh. <gasps> a GT Live hoodie of my very own. It's like you could go and do that for yourself right now and then you could be like, whoa, it's a GT Live hoodie of my very own. You could do that, you know? Yeah. But you could only do it this week. By you, can, this, you can only do by it by this Thursday. This Thursday. Yeah. Uh, yeah, we're doing a super limited edition run of GT Live hoodies. Um, they're really lovely and they're soft and nice and fun. And, and fun. Yeah, they're like, they're so cute. They make me so happy to look at and like to put them on that I'm going to do now. They're, they're Mama and Papa Patrick approved because my parents like them. I was gonna say, did your parents? Did Over you the remember? weekend, I called up my folks and they're like, we love your new hoodie. So if you want a hoodie that my mom and dad approve of, well that, you doing okay there? I put it on with my glasses Oh, that's on. the worst. That's a that classic was, mistake. You can't do that with classic glasses now. I, it's the worst. And these don't like bend or anything. So my head, my face they is don't stuck in there. Bendy. Oh, no your glasses don't bendy. This is how I feel about that comment. Aww. Boop! So anyway, hi. Uh, so there's GT Live hoodies. They're available until Thursday. They're Mama and Papa Pat approved. Um, uh, so anyway. And as oh, one, one oh, final note on oh. this is that they run a little bit small. So if you like them slouchy, just order a size up. This is an extra small and it does fit me just fine. This is a medium on Matthew. They, they, they fit just fine. There's room in them, but if you like them a little bit slouchier than this, just order a size up and they'll be very comfy. Okay. That is true. Hey, Bendy Link Machine. So, I don't really know the story, so I'm not going to pretend like I, I know was going to say, what's the story of this? Well, I, I don't know. We I know don't. that I know that last year, Bendy and the Ink Machine promised, or the, the creators of Bendy and the Ink Machine, uh, which is Kindly Beast, it, it was a company that became Kindly Beast, they promised that before the end of the year, there would be a new installment in the Bendy and the Ink Machine franchise called Bendy and the Dark Revival. The, not the... A name that's, that's not easy. the name that I'm looking it's, at here. It's, it's right, it, nor is, no. First off, it's not a name that rolls off the tongue. Second off, it's not a name that you're looking at on screen right now. No, my friends. Uh, so that, so the year came and went. No game was released. It's supposed to star Alice Angel. I don't know what the deal is with it. Well, but, you know, four o'clock comes every day and <laughs> comes and no live stream is there. So I don't feel like I have room to criticize. <laughs> But anyway, long story short, uh, apparently a new game was just announced and released, and it's Boris and the Dark Survival. Oh boy. As not to be confused with Bendy and the Dark Revival. So, very rhymey names here. <laughs> 
I don't really know. I don't really know what's Were going they, like, on. Were they joking I don't about understand. the other name? I don't really understand the story. No, it's based on the trailer of that other game. There is gameplay. Like, it is a first person game, just like Bendy was. And there's like a different mechanic of like, I guess, reviving ink thing. I don't, I don't know. I know nothing about that game. I also know nothing about this game. I just know that like last week there was a trailer for it. And now here it is. I just know. I don't think this that is the there game. is a very small bendy positioned over my shoulder right now. It looks and like a like, parrot on your shoulder. He's so creepy. I love him back there. He's like, he's such a little like, nah, hi. He's, little, he's like, hi, Stephanie. I'm the devil hi. on your shoulder. <laughs> you have no angel. <gasps> Maybe you're the angel. Can you perch a little bit closer? I can. Here we go. Here. Let's see. Oh jeez! Ow! The angel's the worst. Get off! Go! I just want to make the wrong <laughs> choices. <laughs> oh! I took out oh, the, I took the devil too. Stephanie, Here. eat Cheetos for dinner. Oh, Bendy, what a good idea! Stephanie, don't eat Cheetos for dinner. Broccoli sucks. Stephanie, eat Cheetos. Broccoli is your friend. Broccoli is no one's friend. Your problem areas will thank you. Not that you have problem areas because you're beautiful, but you personally think you have problems. <laughs> Let's play a video game, shall we? <laughs> that was very nice. What I found a new one back there. Oh, let's play Bendy. Oh, sorry, Boris. Boris and the Dark Survival. I don't know. We'll find out together, Great. friends. Here we go. You should flip up to the game. I know it's been a long time since you've been here, Chris. Well, oh, you Chris is back, everyone. Yeah, Chris is back, by the way. Chris is back from the other side of the world. Is he didn't Chris's just artwork go back? and decide to stay there. Chris's artwork is back, too. Woo! There was like a 2% of me that's like, Chris goes to the, these wonderful, beautiful parts of the world, and he's just like, screw it. I'm becoming a Buddhist monk, and I'm staying here. It almost Just happened. Never coming back. Yeah, were you close? It was real close. <laughs> I believe it. <laughs> once you go, once you go monk, you don't go back. Right. <laughs> um, yeah, Chris. I don't know if you caught any of our live streams while you were in the jungles of Cambodia. Uh, if not, shame on you. Right. Um, what were you doing with your time? That but, was so important. But Jeez. part of your weekly catch-up duties will be recapping the streams that you missed because uh, Amy's artwork is something that you have to strive Blew for. Blew you away, man. I, I I mean I hate to tell it to you, but we have to be like, blunt. As your <laughs> as your employers, it's our job to to give you the straight talk. Like there was one that I'm like, this could legitimately be framed. This would who, not who be. Who did this one? Me. Oh yeah, that explains it. Right, I was gonna say, right, well. it. It's better than most of your work. But comparative to the caliber say, that we've been getting on, on the, the stream lately. On the scale of Chris, that's like a 10. On the scale of Amy, like, it's like maybe a 3. Yeah, Ooh. it is. It's a it's a 10 Chris, 3 Amy. <laughs> <laughs> I, strive, I strive to be a 10 Amy in my day-to-day -day life. Me too, but I'll, we can only aspire. Which is honestly like 100 Chris. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's an exponential scale. Poor Chris. Well, I'm doomed. It's I'm like, sorry, it's like Chris. It's like <laughs> logarithmic. Man, this is his first day back. At least, at least lie and say he's like a six eight. Stephanie, he has been sassy with me all day, yeah, so I am exactly. going to be sassy with him straight back. Yeah. I'm a lot of, getting a lot of sass today, everyone. Like, you know what's helpful is turning off the audio before you flip onto the... What? Boop. I couldn't hear you. My, my phone was on for a second. <laughs> the audio. Right, what guys? are we watching? A live stream of Benny and the Machine? Yeah, uh -huh. good figure. Horus in the Dark Survival. Let's play a game, shall we? A game. Here's a game. It's a, it's it's not the game that you Ness, were asking for. It's the Nessie game says, "Ten Chris, three Amy." <laughs> Once there was a wolf. Oh, here we go. Once there was a wolf. Okay. Living in a very dangerous world. Supplies. Surviving on anything he could find, like wrenches and other various supplies, sundries, of the ink machine, and fearing the ink demon that stalked his every move. Yikes. Oof. Okay, I'm in. <laughs> that, that's your plot. There it is. What else do you need? So if, the ink, so if the ink demon's alive, that means that this is a prequel story to Bendy and the Ink Machine since right? Bendy supposedly dies. U-W-A-S-D. Oh my gosh, he is so slow. And it's in a, pers and it's in a perspective of 
this feels very reminiscent of what was the puppet game? Oh, um, what was the Showdown Bandit. Game? Yeah, that one. Showdown Bandit, which is also the same studio. Kindly Beast game. Yep. So I, uh, so is uh, this like reskin Showdown Bandit? Okay, so I can play the banjo. That's exciting. I can walk very That's slowly. better than real life. We can't play the banjo in real life. Search the studio for scraps. Scraps of what? S scraps. Just hmm. s scraps of my joy. <laughs> scraps of life. What is this? Okay, oh, I got a hard hat. Is this where we met with Boris and like, oh my gosh, let me pull out my deep bendy lore. Uh, chapter three? Of Bendy and the Ink Machine? You start off with Boris in his like little hideaway. This kind of looks right. vaguely like it. So is this is this taking off from like chapter three of Boris? Thinking of you again. Fine tune to unlock, fine tune to unlock, fine tune to unlock. Okay. Mm, okay. Great. So. Or music off for copyright reasons. Haha. <laughs> uh, what's this? Bacon soup. So we got a bacon soup machine. Oh, that we can use a key. Chugging the soup. Huh. It's like their coffee machine, except ugh, it's gross. I know right? the the the, ba the concept of bacon soup is just gross. You know what? I think it's like I always envisioned it being like a baked potato soup. Have you ever had a baked potato soup? I mean, no. I, I'm totally on board with a baked potato soup. I'm just saying, like the concept of drinking hot bacon soup straight out of like a vending machine, mm. as if it were coffee. Soup. I was gonna say the worst I think would be drinking not hot bacon soup, <laughs> like. Lukewarm bacon soup is definitely going to be yeah, worse. But yeah, that's probably true. You need it like fresh off the stove. Can I, can I run? Please tell me I can run. On one Foxy hand, says the bacon soup meter is your stamina. Is it? Mm-hmm. Supplies. Oh, there's a supply box. I can't really do anything with it. Can I run? Usually shift is run. Oh, thank goodness. Shift is run. Oh, and oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I see me. My bacon soup is going down. Okay. Mm. My bacon soup is descending. Okay. Oh, no. Okay. So there we go. So I can run, I can drink, and I can play the banjo. There is your gameplay right there, ladies and gentlemen. It's DDR Banjo Edition. Woo! <laughs> Blank Art Studios says, <coughs> Boris is the best bud to ever be bud. Day one. Oh, is it six days? Level 15. Six ah. days in Boris's. Locate the needed supplies. Okay. What's that big thing with the O on it? The big thing with the, oh, that's the, the Alice Angel stations. Oh, Where okay. presumably we're gonna hide from Bendy. Great. All right, so. So looking forward to that. So I got an elevator that I cannot activate, so I'm assuming I activate it at the end of finding everything. Uh, hmm. I'm gonna be in I the chat for a couple minutes. Okay, what's this? Press escape to leave, should I just, wait, almost. Oop. Hayden Gomez says, Boris. Is forever loved. Is there anything in there? No. Okay, so I got one thing. Bacon soup. SCP-049 says, Matt has a beard. I do. Thank you for that public service announcement. This just in, Matt with beard. You're going to keep it for a little while. I am, and until just, my hair grows sort of, to like. Uh, trim it a little bit. Maybe trim a little bit. Yeah, I'm, be I'm becoming the completionist. Watch out, Gerard. I'm coming for you. That's too much beard for me. I don't know. I wouldn't even be able to see you. Embrace your demise. Uh oh. All right. Fun. I'm glad Fun. we're. I'm glad we're filling the office with motivational, uplifting quotes. <laughs> it's like that. You know the the poster that the hangs in a lot posters? of. No, the motivational posters that hang in a lot of offices. That say hang in there. Yeah, with the little cat hanging off of a tree branch, and it's like hang in there. Yes. This is the opposite. Yeah, of this is embrace your demise stuff. <laughs> Which, to be fair, they're really two sides of the same coin. Because hang in there does not imply it's a happy office space. That's true. You're, you're totally right. Hang in there means, like, hold on as long because as you your demise is can. coming. Yeah. Yeah, it's true. Ooh. That's deep, Chris. Wow. That's very Anytime. deep. Jeez, that, I learned that, something in Cambodia. I was going to say, that vacation did not <laughs> make was, you was more say, positive, huh? going to be a Debbie Downer there. So apparently the items that I need in order to do this are bone, bone, wrench, wrench, <laughs> plunger, plunger, and also more embrace your demise. Wow. Right. Okay. Weird. Um, Beards are back in style, says Jojo Sia. Aren't you lucky? Thank goodness. I, I do strive to be on trend all the time. So wait, this is just an exact replica of the room I was just in, right? I'm not imagining that. No, it's the same. Like, if this is auto-generated, it just auto-generated 
two of the exact same like Ooh, rooms. Does right that next make to it a rogue like? <laughs> <laughs> Long time yes. viewers of this stream will know that I like. I very so, much like identifying games, games that are rogue like. Stephanie is a big fan of the rogue like. I just game. think it's funny to say. So, so are, uh, these are lockers that I'm opening up that ultimately have nothing in them. And I don't really have a solid understanding of what Boris could possibly need with two bones, two wrenches, and two plungers. Like, it's a very arbitrary list of things. Right. Uh, and I'm also breathing. Oh, hey. Oh, wait, wait. Oh, wait. Oh, that's not good news. Oh, wait. Wait, is that Fendi? Get in. Oh, get, in oh, get in. Get in. Get in. Get in. Get in. It's actually kind of hard to see. Oh, and there was an audio log. I wanted to learn the lore of the game. Oh, poop. Find a thing. Uh, I need find, to find a, a thing. thing. I, yeah, I'd love to. There, there, it's gonna nope, be. That's yeah, no, down there, there, down there. Yeah, there we go. Poop! We are one plunger away. Can he get so, you? So. No. Nope. No, okay. All right. Bye, just head back. Fine. So, so does he just Fine. hang? No, nope, he's. No, nope. <laughs> he's like, ah, I could go that way, but maybe not. I could use this elevator, but I'm a supernatural nah. entity, so I'm just gonna leave too. So is he per? So is he just permanently on the map? Unclear. So the plunger was down the way I was, but I'm just gonna check down here to see if there's anything I need to unlock. Like, are there secrets hidden around? Okay. Nothing in any of these lockers. I feel like these lockers must contain something, right? Right? Go, go down. Go and they've down. got like a mini game lock mechanic. Right? Drink that soup! 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 Okay. Weird. So. Uh, just slowly enter now we're doing my old Boris thing. Someone said in the chat says this is just Granny 2.0. <laughs> I'm not playing on a mobile device, so right. thank, thank goodness thank for that. that. Like, it might be Granny 2.0, but at the very least it isn't on a mobile phone, because that's, that's, what the heck? Oh, man, down here, Granny. to the lore. Oh, shoot. Shoot, that guy's talking to me. Oh, man. He's delivering me important lore information, Benny. How do we get on there? I wonder if it's Yeah. You're wrecking my cassette listening. Come on, Bendy. Some people in chat are saying that we've got a little bit of lag going on. What? Since when? Uh, this stream never lags. I don't know what you're talking about. Yeah. We hear you. We hear you about the lag. We will do everything we can. Are you sure it's lag or is it just Boris's cripplingly slow walking pace? It could be that. <laughs> it know, could very likely be that. Boris does walk cripplingly slow. Galaxy Boba 303 says soup lag. Boop, boop. Nothing. Go with that thing real so, quick. Here comes. So it does seem programmed for him to just find me there. Yeah. Darn it. Oh, so much lag. Is there a lot of lag? Yeah, apparently we there's a lot of lag. We are working on it. Well, that's a bummer, guys. Thanks, Chris. I am so sorry. Hang in there. Like, Try refreshing like a cat the stream. on a motivational poster. Hang, Hang in, in there. there. Or, if you don't feel like being positive and uplifting, uh, you could take my phone off. I took my computer off already, I think. Um, or if you don't feel like positive, being positive and uplifting, embrace the void. What? No, don't do that. No, 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 don't do that. What? 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 Just embrace your demise, you mean? Or the void. What, are you, what is the this, void. the good place? The void. What's that, the void? I don't know. It's, it's from Boneworks. I'm in a very Boneworks mentality. Oh, no. Don't say stuff like that. So, I feel like that is not a good message to send. Bone, uh, to, to support Boneworks, Stephanie, as a, as a quality gameplay experience? Is that what you're trying to say? <laughs> I, I fully support Boneworks. Okay, wait, hold on. So, did I unlock anything? Did anything change here? What's okay. going on? Nope, zero out of seven. Um, Chris P. Bacon is just saying that now the audio is out of sync. Oh, thank goodness. The voices were- Hello. And then they'll hear me say it like a bunch of, of time later. <laughs> so I think it's weird. <laughs> audio <laughs> issues are so strange. I think you're adorable, Steph. Thank you. I think you're just, I think you're just a, a delight. Thanks. Midnight Coral says lip sync is off. How do you know we're just day not two. great ventriloquists? Yeah, consider that one. So, okay, day two, we need a gear, a radio, a plunger, a spoon, if a wrench and a bone. So our needs okay. have gotten a little bit more diversified. Right. Thank goodness. Our, um, if the audio is out of sync, but the video seems to have caught up, one thing that you can usually do is refresh the page. Sometimes that helps. It does help. Not always, it's but it sometimes idea. does help. Oh, oh, fix! Yeah! Way to go, Chris! Woo! He's back, saving the day. New safe of course, house scrap. Of course, when he wasn't here, we didn't have a lot of lag Yeah, what happened? What's, about the, what, what's up with that, Chris? Chris is just a black hole for bandwidth or something. It's true, I'm, I'm what they call a bandwidth demon. <laughs> Chris 
<laughs> Chris secretly has this little metal receptor in his head, so he gets the internet straight into his brain. I was going to say, is, do you have a metal plate in your head, Chris? Is that the thing that's sucking up all the Wi-Fi Poor right Chris. now? Are you Chris. We're giving him such a hard time today. Are you secretly <laughs> streaming, like, episodes of of Veep or something right now? Right behind to your, your eyeballs. That's amazing. Right oh. to your skull head? I mean, it's not Veep, but... Chernobyl. It is Avenue Five, which is their new show. So. <laughs> oh, that's the, new, that's the say, space one, isn't it? That's the new space one. Yeah. No, Chris, don't lie. You know it's keeping up with the Kardashians. All right, fine, it is. <laughs> I gotta Chris. know what they're up to. <laughs> uh, Chris, you can just DVR that on your YouTube TV account. Come on, man. Oh my gosh. Right? What are you doing? Stop sucking up the office's bandwidth. Amy needs to do actual work. Okay. Okay. Fine. Thanks. Thanks a lot. Boone. It's not, it's not, oh wait. Oh, there comes. There comes Boone. Bendy. 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 Right, you're, like, you're saying that like it's Vanjie from RuPaul's Drag Race. Bendy. Bendy. <laughs> I don't know why. Bendy. <laughs> Sorry, that will make no sense for anyone who hasn't oh. seen RuPaul's Drag Race. Oh, but it's is. very good. There he is. He's still hanging out. So does he despawn at a certain point? Or if I like go down this hall, is he just, he just creeping over there? I don't know. Just being a creeper. Hey, hey. Hey, stop being a creeper. So he creeps. Yeah. Uh, That's the only thing I know in that song. Is that a song? Yeah. Oh. Go yeah it's so a song. Creep. Yeah. yeah. Oh yeah, he's, just he's, creep. he's definitely hanging out there. Well, that's a bummer that he's just kind of spawned in that corner, right. isn't it? Like I can't really explore much of that area now, can I? I'm gonna have to like juke around him. Yeah. Show him my cool juking moves. Oh, cool. That sounds great. You see? You see those moves? Wait, 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 was it? Ready? Teach me. I know because it's so fast, you can't tell. It avoids all the ink demons. It's double. There it is. Ladies and gentlemen. That's the juking moves. That was amazing. Can you handle that? I don't think you can handle that. Stuff. It was tough. It was tough. Did you see me? You couldn't. I was really. I know you couldn't. I see was me. impressed, but then immediately breathless because of how overwhelming that was. I know. It, right, it, it has that multi layered effect on people, <laughs> honestly. It really. It, it does a lot. It's a lot for just one. It, it's like how you couldn't see the Greek gods in their godlike form back in the day mm. because it would blow people's minds and so they'd always appear as like swans or geese. Deer. Deer various were other popular. Various other fowl. <laughs> Pea fowl. Um, so oh wait, the last thing. Nessie says soup is oh. the best, forget oh, Diet poop. Coke. Oh, we have forgotten Diet Coke. Where's, uh, where's shoot, the shoot, sign? Shoot. Shoot, oh, shoot, oh, there's a dead end. I think we're at like 40 days with no Diet Coke or something. Matthew gave up Diet Coke for New Year's. We're, well, I, got I, mean, I don't really know how many we days lost, it's we, been. We lost that one. 40 times, right? Thanks. Sure. Chris, don't make up numbers. Do the math, man. 41. People look to that board for honesty and integrity. What time, what day is it? Who even knows? Day two. 10. Stay tuned, and I'm on level seven. Oh, 41 days. Oh, so they do all randomly spawn. Okay, so this is a completely different layout. I, so I'm assuming I don't get to keep my little scrap from before, which is kind of a bummer. Because mm. I died. I, well, you were while well, you were engaging in the chat, I did. Oh, really? I did lose. Oh. I lost. Oh man. Well, I was doing I was doing the more important thing then. Just... Your breath smells like Skittles. Thanks. That's what I strive for. Well, uh, consider it achieved. Up top, well done, Stephanie. I'm proud of you. C hang in there. Reach yeah. for those dreams. <laughs> you can do it. Drink it up, Bendy and Boris. I mean Boris, not Bendy. I'm I'm hoping. Oh oh oh! Here comes the demon. Here he comes. Here oh here comes Bendy. Okay. okay. All right. All right. Come on. He doesn't seem to have the best peripheral vision. Like no, you certainly can, not. You, he just follows your trail. You know, there were a couple of people in the chat commenting that this isn't their favorite perspective. This like, this like third person, I really do, yeah. top down kind of. I have to agree, actually. I, I would agree. say I, I would almost rather like a straight bird's eye view, a la like Legend of Zelda. Yeah, like straight down. Yeah. Yeah, I agree. Yeah, I don't know why a lot of franchises kind of choose the the three quarter angle, because especially when you have a lot of walls, you just see a lot of wall. Like yeah. there's a lot of wall here. I'm, right? getting, I'm getting overwhelmed with the wall. Oh. And you're also like, it, I think it keeps you from getting completely immersed in the game because you're always 
reminded that you're like in a dollhouse kind of yeah, situation. Yeah, it, it is weird that you see like the void. Again, you embrace the void, Stephanie. I these sorts of games force you to embrace the void because the void is kind of like, look, there's a, there's a, void. a lot of void. There's outside a lot of, of void. The, yeah, that's And so true. unless you're embracing the void, oh, dude, 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 just, just move along. I know, come on, Batman. You, just move along, slow man. Move, go. You're really getting under his skin with insults like that. <laughs> Call it a slow, slow man. Slow man. <laughs> You, <laughs> you slow man. <laughs> hey, you guys responded to it, didn't you? You all thought it was interesting and moderately funny. That's true. It call, it, if I just call him a jerk or a poo-poo head or whatever, that's those words aren't gonna hurt him because he's heard him a hundred times. But if I call him slow man, he's like, oh wow, that's a new one. <laughs> it cuts deep, hurts real bad. Is there really nothing up here? Because that is a bummer if there's literally nothing up here. I also wasted all my bacon soup power on it, so mm. that is a bummer. That is a bacon huh. soup bummer right this, now. This is interesting. Green Raven Studios says this view is easier to make because you don't have to worry about ceilings as well as camera collisions. That makes a lot of sense. That makes a lot of sense. That's super interesting. Huh. Right? That that's very fascinating. I I, I mean it makes you I'm don't have sure. To worry about I mean, ceilings and camera. That's from a gameplay perspective, like a oh, game okay. maker perspective, rather. I'm sure that there are. Like advantages. Okay, They're here, down. Here. Just go down. I know. Is he coming this way? I don't know. Oh, oh he passed he you by. Oh, buddy. You oh, missed yeah. out. You missed out on a nice Boris sandwich. Boo. I, apparently, I can't walk through there. <laughs> Booyah. <laughs> <laughs> Going to continue walking this way as though I intended it the entire time. It's totally fine. OK. What do we got? No, that makes total. I mean, I get that. Yeah. No, we're just speaking That's, from a pure gameplay yeah. perspective. Well, as a gamer, as the person who plays the game, <laughs> I gotta say that definitely not my, like look, like this, like right now, I don't know that that's a, a locker. Like literally, I only Ooh, know that the what? thing I'm, in, right? the thing I'm engaging with is literally just a pop-up, because oh. I wouldn't have known, right? So, so while it might streamline the production process, I don't know, or make it 2D, I'd love, for, I'd love for more things to be 2D. Like, th this feels like one of those opportunities where, like, 2D could oh, what, a 2D bendy? Oh, wait, that's bacon soup. That's not actually, oh, shoot. Whoopsie. 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 This way. Yes. Oh. oh, oh, come on. <laughs> oh, no, come that was on. A lock oh, again, geez. how did I know that that was a locker and not It was a... just sitting out there in the open. Right? Oh, wow. There was something. Darn it. OK. All right, I got to so, get, get serious. Wait, did you? I keep dying. Where... I'm getting serious. No, I think you're doing great. I'm not. I I've lost doing, twice. I think you're doing okay. So. I've lost. Okay. I'm so close. And I lost. Wait, do we start from the beginning? You lo you start from the beginning of that day. Oh, okay. That's all right then. Yeah. So there, so no. Shoot, I lost what level I was on. Locate the needed supplies. Yes, thank you, game. I know I've died twice. You don't have to tell me the basic missions. I understand yeah, it's, that. It's just trying to be helpful. The game is shaming me right now. No. Feeling the shame. Although it doesn't seem like it would need to remind you that it's like just sort of a collectathon. Okay, hold on. Unlike every other Ben <laughs> DK, they're all collectathon. <laughs> Actually, starting in Bendy Chapter Three, they were a little bit differentiated. Um. Okay. <clears throat> Get out of here, slow man. Nobody wants you, slow man. You were only able to catch me last time because I got hooked on a, a weird secret locker thing. Oh, good. Oh, come on. This better show me that it loops around. Are you, are you, are you gone? Did I lose you? Are you gone? Did I lose you? Are, are you still following? Oh, locker. Boop. Nothing in the locker. That's a bummer. Oh, and he's still chasing me. Get out of here. Mm. Slow man. <laughs> At Ryan and a bunch of numbers on Twitter says, there's glare on the Coke uh, on, in the sign. So it says days since diet. Which is also pretty accurate. <laughs> you know what? Not not that far off. Yeah, I was gonna say. I think we can leave it. Day forty one days since diet. diet. Yeah. Yeah. Fair. Yeah, fair. <laughs> forty one days since needed diet. <laughs> forty one uh, days since got discouraged, gave up on diet. Woo. At, at Evelyn Barefoot on Twitter says, I haven't stopped wanting Skittles since a after y'all stopped uh, started eating them during streams. I know we're almost da done with them. I promise. Yeah. Have no fear. Again. Days since diet, you know. 41. 
That's how long it's taken us to get through the Maybe scale. it'll restart at some point. Who knows? Should I go down? Or is this, this loops me down to the main room again? Okay, there's, there's our good friend, the ink demon. I see him creeping. I'd really love a bacon soup uh, dispensary here. At CookieCat94 says, for a change, oh, for Jason isn't to blame for the tech issues. We don't know that. He's here too. <laughs> he isn't here. He, had a bit, he left. He, well, he never arrived, Stephanie. He's never even been here. Oh, he's been a figment <laughs> of my imagination <laughs> this entire Jason time. Jason never existed in the first place. We made him. We all, all of us as a collective consciousness of GT Live just made up he Jason. Was, he was a collective hallucination. <laughs> then where has all that money we've been paying go? <laughs> just some Jason in Arizona. Right? Keeps cash and checks. He's just Chris. like, I don't know where they're coming from, man. Chris but I'm going to keep putting them in the bank. <laughs> Chris is really good at, at identity, um, like. Right? Oh, Chris is also Jason. Bad. Yeah. <laughs> Chris, Chris is <laughs> running the longest long con ever. <laughs> That's true. We haven't seen them in the same place at the same time in a long while. <laughs> oh. We thought it was because Chris was on vacation, Right, but... and Jason had a baby, but apparently neither of those things happened. <laughs> it was. <laughs> It takes a long time for Chris to get his hair cut and dyed. Oh, man. At Sydney Dieters on Twitter says, can I get a clap in half for, oh. my, for my birthday? You can. Yes. Woo. Happy birthday to you. Woo. Clap in half. Also, why is this water salty, Chris? Uh, I don't know. That's been there since last week, I guess. Well, this is the colored water that we did the frozen water experiment with. Was so, it sealed? Oh, no, because it would so have been did you, did you do anything with that one? To make them I, potentially I salty because it's it's definitely salty. Oh boy! Are you are you sure? No, Chris. I just took a drink of the water and was prompted to just out of nowhere talk about how salty it tasted. All right. Because I because I'm prone to do that sort of thing. I mean, I'm gonna hashtag blame Jason on this one. <laughs> are you? I don't think he I don't think he ever t touched any of these water bottles, Chris. That water was on that table when I came in today. Uh, Ooh, didn't leave it there. Too. Some more lore. I want dun, that dun, lore. Dun. I want that we'll sweet see. Lord Nubbins. Okay, shoot. We'll see. Oh, for crying out loud. Um, where, Where is literally anything? So you might just be able to stand in a corner, actually. At Trefoils123 on Twitter says, I saw a YouTuber playing this, and if you hide in a corner out of the hall, he won't see you. Really? Apparently. Is yes. that true? At Sly McKing There was literally nothing I could do. I couldn't I find know. a stupid bacon soup thing anywhere. At this Sly McKing also says, it's 2020, how is dabbing still a thing? That wasn't Hashtag dabbing, that was called forever. my juking, guys. That was, that was something That's else. me going really fast. Super fast. That's me going fast, that's not a dab. Get out of here. How I, you offend me by it calling was, that a dab. It was so fast they got confused. I, right. Okay, thank you. You just couldn't see it clearly because it was so Well, you're lucky you had Chris to explain that oversight because, guys, <laughs> guys. Well, I'm just gonna hide here in my little machine. At Yuri Fisher says, "Slow man is apparently the worst insult ever created." Slow it's man, true. cuts deep, guys. Yeah. Uh, and at Glyric says, uh, "Don't drink your experiment water." It's all is the it water we got. Really good water. Sometimes California is a drought-prone state. You can't waste water. Okay. Yeah, no, you gotta I'm drink kidding. something. I, like that, we probably could have gotten. Well, hey now, what was that? There's just a weird summoning circle <laughs> that I interacted mm. with. It was just like, okay. That's not safe. Right, that was odd. Sometimes you just gotta interact with your summoning circles, you know? The chat is suggesting that perhaps Jason was crying. And, and those are the saltiness yeah, of the into tears. Yeah, salty <laughs> tears. Or that that's hashtag salt pat from when you get angry at video games. It's my sweat. Yeah. Oh, gross. Yeah, it is. It's gonna gross, guys. Pretty nasty. <laughs> nothing. There's a lot of there's a lot of nothing. A lot of nothing in these lusts. Come on, game. <gasps> Let me drink some soup. Give me that soup. Oh my gosh. Oh, at are GT, you kidding me? At GT Live rocks my sock says today is the tenth day of the fourteen days of Valentine's. Oh my gosh. Are you guys is. celebrating this year? If so, what was today? Oh my gosh. I can't tell you today. I haven't done today's yet. Yeah. But today has but a thing. But we've done, Matthew got flowers, which was awesome. Oh, come on. He got me chocolate covered raisins, which was a special request. Oh my and gosh. And I love. Uh, Stephanie gets a day off tomorrow. I'm getting a day off oh, tomorrow, which is that. amazing. And. Um, Are you kidding me? Matthew cleaned so the car so inside and out this weekend. It was amazing. 
That was like the best Valentine's Day gift. I took Stephanie to high tea. Yeah, we went to high tea. It was on my Ooh, Instagram stories. It was really was, fun. That was one that I did Yeah, the, that's really special. Um, and Matthew is helping me complete what I've been calling my Los Angeles bucket list. There are a lot of people who live in big cities, like New York is notorious for this, LA, San Francisco, Chicago, where you live there and you like, you know that there's a lot of stuff to do in the city, but you don't really do it because you're like, oh, it's always there. I can just do it whenever. Like people who live in New York will tell you that they never visit the, like the Statue of, Statue Liberty. of Liberty. They never stuff, visit yeah. the Empire State Building. They never do any of the, the stuff that you do in New York. And so I wanted to make sure that we actually do some of the cool things that LA has to offer. So I made an LA bucket list. And Matthew is is being nice enough to go and do those things with me. I, that's very generous of me. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> no, but uh, th there's been a couple things. I'm a, I'm a couple days behind. I've had to kind of like back end a couple things. I fixed some items that I broke a long oh, time yeah. ago. Oh, yeah. He I fixed, fixed the statue he, that. he pulled out some super glue and did some awesome super gluing. Fixed things that Ollie The 14 destroyed. days of Valentine's Day aren't about things being like glamorous every day. It's about doing something nice and thoughtful for the person that you care about. Got you some nice flowers. Yeah, awesome stuff. Yeah, a couple of things here and there. Mm-hmm. Um, oh my gosh, amazing. It's doing awesome. Do it, yeah, and he doesn't awesome. have to, just by the way, just so everybody knows. Steph I tell him every year that he doesn't have to do anything. Stephanie got me some ice cream spoons. Yeah, I got Matthew some ice. Matthew really wanted these ice cream spoons that are shaped like shovels. Oh, they're they great. They get wide at the end instead of getting narrow at the end. So a lot of spoons are like kind of pointy at the top. These are like shovels. Oh yeah, so you're you shoveling that in, ice cream into your and mouth. And you're like scoop. And they're little. But they're little. But they're, but they're little spoons. So you can. It, but they're like mini. You to savor it. They're like mini shovels. Oh, it's great. It's really good. That's nice. Adorable. It's good yeah. to shovel that ice cream in your face. Huh? It's literally like you're shoveling snow out of your driveway, except you're shoveling ice cream out of your bowl. Yeah. And into your mouth hole. Into your mouth hole. So Benny's still hanging out down there. So. You know, can't really explore down there right now. Ah. He's just hanging out. Just slow. Cool. Yep. We're just hanging out. I'm Don't worry, we're still on floor two. We're making Twitter. great progress. Reading Twitter. Maybe there's only three nights. Mm. Maybe it's only three nights at Bendy's. That would be great. Mm. I would support that. That would be something I'm totally fine with. At GDX Dev on Twitter says, I think Matt himself is Jason all along. The whole game theory thing is a projection and he, that you, Matthew, are secretly in a coma. Ooh. Wow. That, oh, there, oh, there's more lore. Wow. There's lore. That'll be like the last episode of Game Theory That'd where we great. find out that all oh, of this I is know. just a dream. Oh, <laughs> It'll be like the Bob Newhart show. Why is every single thing a dead end in this game? Yeah, it is. Everything is a dead end. I'm, I'm trying to distract from how from how frustrating it is, but I see it. Sorry, Everything man. is a dead end. There's only like one, and when you, and when you can only <laughs> literally avoid him by going in a circle around him or hiding in a box, you can't have a bunch of dead ends. The week is so young and you are so frustrated. There's already. so many dead ends. Oh man. At least there's not really an ending here. You're just trying to find scraps. So mm. that's a, a small plus. Surrender to the machine. Okay, great. Oh, there he is. Okay, all right. Well, see here, look. There's a roundabout that I can avoid him in. See, that's useful. I need more of those things. Give me more roundabouts and fewer long hallways with no escape. Here, this will help make you feel better. Doctor, uh, at, at um, Dentanu Sheru on Twitter. This is awesome. Just go back in there. <laughs> As Intanu Sheru on Twitter says, hey, if you haven't seen, I made a little bat for the game theory community. His name is Bat Pat. He helps in theories. He's slightly blind, but his echolocation and gaming skills help him live his amazing theory life. I love it. That's great. It's really That's adorable. Amazing. He made a little bat. It's a, it's a little it's bat. It's a little bat, and it's he's really wearing cute. game theory pants. He is. He's wearing the Thank the goodness he's pants. wearing pants. Yeah, he's wearing game theory pants. Although don't don't adhere the game theory bat to your human standards of dress. I know it's true. Our We've got really cute little bat feet. Oh my gosh, this is so cute. See, like here, why are there two bacon soup cans here? When like other iterations of this, there are zero bacon soup things. Come on, right? Come on, game. Come on. And here, you're giving me a, a survival station. 
next to a place where I can loop to loop him. Mm -hmm. I don't need all of those, like, mm. right. I don't need all those things in one location. I need them spread out amongst other areas of the map. Just saying. Right. Sorry, salty cat. I understand. At so like here, like, ooh, loop de loop, loop de loop. At loop Diana seventy five ninety five says, as a New Yorker, I can confirm that I haven't done any touristy things, but that's also partially due to the cost of them and the overwhelming makes crowds, which makes complete sense. Oh, yeah. And and when we were living in New York, that's also what we were like. We we're like. Why would we go to some place that's overcrowded, way overhyped, and, and cost a bunch of money to like either get there, pay a ticket to get in, whatever? But it's the kind of thing that we were like, okay, even if we never do it again, we have to do it once. And so we actually also did a New York bucket list, and that was really fun. We did. It involved stuff like trying the, all the really famous pizza places in New York, so we went through all of those. We did a trip where we visited all five boroughs of New York in one day. Yeah, that was really fun. Including Staten Island. So we literally just like took the ferry to Staten Island, got off the boat. We were like, we like took a picture with something that said Staten Island and then we got back on the this boat very, and went back. This is very accurate. This is exactly what we did. That was a yep. great day. That, that was, was awesome. Fun. Yeah, we did like one thing in each. Please right there. So we did one thing in each location. Yeah. What was that? You just squirting me? Mm. What's, what's squirting me here? Cool. What am I miss? Nah. All right. Okay. All right, get out of there. Um, what else did we do? We did a, a wacky museum in... Uh, we did the Museum of the, of the Motion Picture, which is like a museum of wacky film stuff mm -hmm. in Brooklyn. Oh, yeah, that was in Brooklyn. a very Brooklyn thing to do. Or maybe it was in Queens. I forget. Oh, shoot. The Brooklyn, Brooklyn, we went to the Brooklyn Zoo, the Botanical Garden, we went to the something like that. We went that. to the Botanic Gardens. And then in Queens, yeah, we did the Weird Museum. In the in the Bronx, we did Yankee Stadium. Yeah. Must have been. Yeah, Yankee Stadium. And then in Manhattan, we I mean, we, we were living in Manhattan anyway, so we, so we were just, just like, there. we just went to lunch. So we lived. <laughs> yeah. We existed. Yeah. Uh, so did I, where did I miss? I feel like I've done this whole map at this point. So where is the wrench that I missed? But we, yeah, we had a whole big bucket list. Mm. And I think it's one of those things that you can do in whatever city you're in, actually. Oh, yeah. And it just gives you like a project and it gives you a reason to, to go do stuff. And also a reason you can, to like, get out. Yeah, to get out, to do stuff, to like get off your butt on weekends and be like, I, I went to accomplish this thing. And then when you've done your list, you can be like, I know my city so much better. Um, well, it's it, pretty cool. Well, even based on our list, I, you can tell like the stuff that we were doing wasn't necessarily expensive stuff. Like the botanic, uh, like the botanic garden was literally free. Like you just kind of walked around it. Yeah. Um, the museum, I think, was also free or like donation maybe. Yeah. And so like you paid. There's a, a lot bit. of free stuff in New York. Like we were super super poor when we lived in New York. We still did a bunch of stuff just because like with student discounts or just like. I don't know, they have like a day where you can go for free, like like the Guggenheim Museum, which oh, yeah, is usually like $25 to get into, which is a lot for a museum oh, ticket. That's, that's a ton it's for a museum ticket. It's a lot, ticket. and especially if you're a student. But like Friday night, if you went, because who wants to go to like, I, I guess people like don't want to go to a museum on a Friday I, night. I don't know but, why they wouldn't. But like we we could go, and we and we did, so we got in for guys. free. Um, and yeah, it was crowded and stuff, but we got to we got to do it. Let's see. Where, um, where is Ranch? Where here. is Ranch? You run away. I did. I'm going to read from Twitter. At Hot Pirate says, thank you guys for high quality merch. My, thank you. My brother gave me the patch jacket for Christmas, and I've been, I'm tooting our own horn a little bit, but this is, it's, it's like so nice to hear. Um, I've been wearing it uh, far from home at college. Potential friends open up quickly when, and they accept me when they see that we have common ground. That's Thanks awesome. for friends. Th that's, that's so awesome to hear. Thank you so much. And the you saying that means a lot because we work really hard on our merch. We do. This is very true. I gotta say, um, no, that's that's really awesome to hear. At Animate Penguin says, if I lived in New York or LA, I would just stay in because I can't do crowds either. Actually, I completely relate to that. Um, Jukin, you see those jukes? Oh yeah. Jukes. I'm, dif I'm differentiating it from the dad because someone apparently in the audience had enough like amazing eyesight to tell that I was going into my arms. Yeah. And I don't want them to be confused that I'm dabbing, so it's like that. Yeah. There you go. Um, so 
I want this scrap earlier, but I get to keep it. So, so yeah, about like the crowds and stuff, we've actually done a, one or two items on my LA bucket list where it's this, it'll be like a, oh, yeah. a touristy kind of thing or something that's like known for having long lines and crowds and stuff and it'll show up and I'll be like, nah, this isn't for me. And so we'll do like, we'll do it, but we won't stay longer than we really need to. And I'll just be like, no, nah, get me out of here. So I actually totally relate to that. Right? No, I totally get it. I totally get 100%. it. 100%. Right? It's interesting because you, you get it on, on both sides right now where it's like on one hand, sometimes you hear from people who are like, oh, I can't, I can't wear my merch because people at school or whatever make fun of me, which is the worst. Yeah, which but is the worst and also, like, I know it's hard not to care. You shouldn't care, but it's hard not to. No, it's hard not to care. Like, that, it's a bummer if you're excited about something yeah. and you have a bunch of people who are like, meh, lame. Like, that sucks. But on the other hand, like, you hear stories like that one where it's good stuff, where it's, hey, I met friends or people you know, warmed up to me because they recognized the jacket or whatever. Like, that's yeah. awesome. Like, that's the best. To me, that's what's really exciting. Um, that makes it all worth it. Oh, come on. Really? Nothing? Nothing, game? Got nothing for me? Well, okay, the rooms are right. starting to get... The, the map layouts are getting bigger and more complex, as you would expect, but I'm just calling it out right now as a thing that's happening in the game. Woo! So hopefully, there's more opportunities as the maps get bigger, more juking. Right? At Evelyn Barefoot on tw uh, Bareford on Twitter says, I also feel like barefoot. having, bare, all, you could be barefoot as well. I feel like having a bucket list like that really helps to know how, what, what to show guests when they come. There's nothing like the stress of having a guest come and not knowing what to show them. It's so it's true. It's so true. Anytime anyone comes into town, we're always like, oh man, okay, let's make the list of like, the stuff that they would like and try and figure out like what would be cool to take them to do and we plan all this stuff and yeah you actually have to like know what's out there if you're going to do that no it's it's true it's also one of those things that uh stephanie so so the bucket list one allows you to know like the stuff that's good from the stuff that isn't right so yeah. that's already you useful. feel accomplished about your like wherever you live but the other thing that uh, that Steph and I have been doing a lot lately is keeping track of all the restaurants that we go to and having a restaurant map. Yeah, which I, only helps if you live in like a really big city. If you're in like a, a New York or a London or a Chicago or Tokyo or something like that, where there's just like so many endless, endless restaurants, you can't possibly remember them all. And it was like that with LA. And no, no. LA is so big that I also couldn't remember where any of the restaurants were. And so I just, I started, I made like a Google map. I'm, I'm like obsessive about Google maps. And so I made a Google map of like all the restaurants we've tried. And then I made a list of the restaurants that we want to try so that no matter where we are in Los Angeles, if we have like a meeting or if we're filming a shoot or something like that and we want to grab something to eat, I can be like, oh, let's try this place that's on my list. Well, it, and it's, you say that you have to live in a big city, but honestly you don't. Like, even back when I was living in Ohio, right? Like, I lived in a suburb. Yeah. And sure, like, I knew all the local places to me. But sometimes, you know, you have to go to a nearby city, like Cleveland or whatever. Yeah. And, you know, there are different... You, you might have things that you meant to try, or you might have things that you, like, tried at one point with friends, but you forgot about or whatever. So, like, it's useful there, too. Uh, especially because you're not seeing those places or locations all that frequently. And so right. it's like, oh, I had a really good time at that one place. I should go back there. And instead of being like, I wonder where that place was or what the name of it was, it's like, oh, it was right there. Like, I see it on the map. Like, no, I, so I, I think it's valuable no matter where you are. Um, it's something that I wish we had started sooner, actually. Right? Yeah, me too. But it's good that we have it now. And, and then you always have it because a lot of times, like, restaurants will be in business for years and years. So you kind of, hopefully. you can always come back. Yeah, hopefully. The good ones, right? Right. Nope. Nope. Ha! <laughs> At Evelyn Barefoot on Twitter says, I feel so exposed right now. I've had so many people call me barefoot that it doesn't even phase me anymore. <laughs> oh, man. I made a, a classic about? blunder. I my, People used to get my last name wrong all the time. Used to. Well, Patrick is hard to get wrong. I know. That's true. That's the point. I really, nothing in any of them. So does each floor have its own, like, hidden secret, like, locker that has a thing that I need to unlock? Chris, do you know this? Um, like the the little sh the little scraps. Do I? 
because here's the last piece for this floor, but at the same time, I recognize that I haven't found like whatever the if there's a, a scrap I haven't I found don't like anything. Know if they're on every single floor, you what? Or if I don't know if they're on every single level, okay. but I have seen some where they are. I okay. think maybe. Shoot, really? Hmm. Um, but also they might be randomly generated. And it not does seem random. Floor. Yeah, it does. Maybe I just do this because I've opened a lot of lockers right? with this round. So, all right, run for the elevator. Cool, okay. He's gonna go for it. Right? I'm just trying to think. Yeah, let's just do it. Huh. I'm assuming the the scraps are the like big collectible here. <laughs> yeah. Do you know do you, you know a little a little thing when you get all stuff. Do you know what the mystery like do you know how to unlock this mystery box? No. I do not know hmm. that. Okay. I will try to huh. sign that real quick. Because I feel like that's one of the... So it feels like the scraps are one thing and the mystery box is another thing. Right? It does. Hmm. All right. In the meantime, while you're on the elevator, at White Rivers 1 sent an awesome uh, piece of fan art of Pikachu hugging Pikachu. And it's really, really cute. Oh my gosh. Yeah. It's a match made yeah. in video game slash live stream heaven. <laughs> they were always meant to be together. All right. So what do we got? So again, it go, right? It, the thing I was gonna call out real quick is I know we were talking about it before, but like, that's part of the challenge I'm having, is with this angle again. Like, yeah, you're looking at it from top down, but you're also like, it's hard to tell what individual objects are. And so there are times I'm looking at in this map, and I'm like, I don't really know. Like, where's the lockers? that I'm trying to unlock. Like against this wall, I wouldn't know if there was a locker down here, so I kind of have to like rub my body against it to see if there's anything there. Right? Oh, or the fact that Bendy was on the other side of that. I have uh -oh. no idea. No clue! Spooky jump scare! Whoa! Whoa, so spooks! Wowzer. You got me, Bendy. Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh, oh gee. Oh gee, you got me. Okay. Stephanie, you should show off your your sweet merch again. Whoa. It looks so good. Even though they saw it on you at the beginning of the stream. Oh wow, which was well, like an hour ago. Well, Holy cow. I know, I was gonna say, and now that you've now that you've put on yours, you should show it off because it looks great on you, Stephanie. It's also warm and snuggly, and yes, it does look great. Thanks, Matthew. You're welcome, Stephanie. That is some quality merchandise you got there. It's got our little caffeine molecule. It's got GT Live on the sleeve. But Stephanie, does it have Pikachu? It does! What? It think, does? Which, which shoulder is Pikachu? Is this one? This can, one up here? Is that you Skip? Can, you, can, you can go show it. That's Skip. Skip. That's Skip. Pikachu's right underneath him. It's like Negachu. Because he's, he's a black Pikachu. Well, now you're blocking my screen. That doesn't, that, that doesn't help my gameplay. Remember when I was talking about how I couldn't see the screen because of the like three-quarter angle? Yep. Well, now I really can't see the no, screen. No, now you definitely can't. Because, you know, you're There's literally Matthew. standing right there. There's me. You're not helpful in the slightest at this point. There's Pikachu. I, I thought we were. I thought we had something going here, but now it's. Skippy's up there. This is just a horrific idea. Let's see. This is not useful what at all. What else is it? Stephanie. There's some hands there clapping. Man, and thank goodness. Hopping. It says clap, clap, and a half. It's an homage sometimes. to GT Live, everyone. Really it's really nice. You can get them until Thursday. Then they're gone. I really can't. Uh, these days, I'm going to get my light and go see what's causing all the fuss below me. Sorry. What? What What did he say? I, it's. Do you know what he said, Chris? It sounded like I'm going to get my light. Hmm. It can get dark. But here's the part that really makes my mind swim. Every night, just as I'm picking up my coat, So it's the, yeah. it sounds like it's the projectionist searching for oh. what's, what's underground causing grumbling, but that's just bendy, right? Okay. Like, that's weird. Huh. It's, okay. it's a bit hard to understand what they're saying. 
Oh. Really, Bendy? Come on, get out of here. Right. Jeez. Come on, slow man. Get out of here. No, nobody loves you. Um, that's really interesting. Okay. Yeah, I, and there's no option for subtitles. Otherwise, we would do it. And I know that Chris absolutely checked because Chris is very thorough at this point about that sort of right. thing. Right. Chris did check. See? Like I told him. See, I vouched for him. I right. told you. He did check. But it is, you know, it's just out now, so they will probably add subtitles. Mm. So it just came out I know, today, And right? I know you guys in the chat are also yes. asking for subtitles. We have looked. They don't exist. Yeah, they don't exist. And trust me, I would love them because oh, I, yeah. too, am having a hard time understanding what's being said. Right. Like, it is not particularly easy to hear what he's, what he's saying in, that, in those lines. But it sounds, like it's, it sounds like it's the projectionist who's talking about getting his light and going exploring for bendy or whatever noise slash disturbance is happening underneath the surface of the studio. Yep. Right, if I'm interpreting kind of what I made out. All right, I'm gonna correctly. read some stuff in the chat while you are looking around. That's a great idea, Steph. Um I just got here, is this an official game, says Cullen Dill. It is. It is, this um, is totally it's, official. It's official, it's from um, the creators of Bending Ming Machine, but their name always escapes me. Kindly Beast. Kindly Beast, that's it. Um, it's from Kindly Beast, and it's all about Boris. Is it from Kindly Beast? I, I believe so, right? Like, yeah. I mean, it's, I know it's an official Bendy release. But yeah, it's an official Bendy release. It's not like a, a sub game or like third party or anything like Zeiss that. that it out to. Zeiss Will says, Mad Pat looks like a grown up. Thank uh, you. Congratulations, Thanks. friend. Thanks. Uh, Thanks, everyone. Grew up, became a man, grew some facial hair. Good for me. Uh, that's Finally why Bendy puberty. tried to s to fight the projectionist. Apparently, that's supposed to connect that part of the story. I was wondering if that like if that was the case. Mm -hmm. All right. Well, now we know. Plunger. All we need is a book now. Alexander Fritz is going to Disney World. Congratulations! What? Oh, that's awesome. That's awesome. That is very exciting. Uh, Snowy Girl says nice merch. Thanks, thanks, dude. Shucks, thank you. Uh, oh, let's see. Down there. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? Don't you dare! Don't you! Don't you dare. Yeah. Don't follow me. Don't follow me. Didn't you say if I hit in the corner, it's okay? Yeah. That's what What, am I, what am I supposed said. to do? It's all hallways. It's all hallways. No. There's no, like, once. Uh, right. There's no strategy to that. <sighs> it's literally, you just, it's, all, it's literally RNG. It is all. <sighs> Sorry, dude. There's no strategy there. No. Stephanie. I know, I get it. There I was no strategy. I know. <laughs> it's all just like Oh, wow, you dude. suck. Okay. Suck. Okay. Jeez. There's a locker in the corner. Jeez, a Louisa. Okay, I'm just going to continue to run. Great. Hang on. Are you kidding me? Juke. See, now that's strategy right there. There you go. There you go, bud. I'm encouraging you. <laughs> Thanks. Appreciate that. Ooh, there's some bacon soup I could, I could drink right there. Yeah, you're a little low. Oh, darn. Yeah. Where, where's a locker? <sighs> Here we go. Oh, come on. The race! The race! Go! 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 <laughs> <laughs> What a hollow victory. Jeez. Uh, that was unreal. And yes, the water is salty. And yes, I continue drinking it because that is my option. Drink salty water or drink nothing uh, at all. I'm sorry about your salty water. Y you know what? It just matches how I'm feeling right now. His salty personality. So, you know, <laughs> it, it, it all goes together. Flavors are matching right now. Here, while you're in a down period, JoJo says, I'm a huge fan for years. Watch the theories and live streams. Can I get a clap and a half? You can. Absolutely. One second. Woo. Wait, wait, wait for a minute while I try to collect things in a futile attempt to move, make progress in this game. Trust me, there'll be a, oh, see like right here, how would I? Oh. Oh, embrace right. your demise again, mine. of course. Embrace your demise. Embrace your demise. Oh. Yep, 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 other way, other way, other way. Do, 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 do. Do do clap and a half. Woo! But that's the thing, right? Like clap and a half again. Just for waiting. Just right. for being patient. Thank you for being patient. That's so nice. 
Well, like here, for instance, you know, it's one of those things that if the only way to get Bendy to stop chasing you and become deactive is to hide in a, a box, it's like, you're just stuck. Right. All right. Here we go. Oh. So is this, so this isn't, I, I feel like this is just them creating a holdover game. I know, right, to bridge to the next Until big the next Bendy release? Like I'm not sure. Just to build up hype again? Are yeah. they, you think they're like, hey, people haven't talked about Bendy in a while, like let's build up hype for mm -hmm. the new main release by doing this kind of like little release? Fan of all cool stuff, know. the skeleton says, playing Bendy again? My theory senses are going off. I, trust me, I, mm. why, why, why did he suddenly attack me? I don't know. But Oreo Lover 451 says they're watching this at Red Robin, which sounds great. Oh, make sure you eat those unlimited, unlimited fries. fries! All about them unlimited fries! Enjoy. Oh, I could go for some salty, salty goodness. And I'm not Just talking about my water. bottle of water. <laughs> Thanks. Thanks a lot. Here, you want no, some? No, I definitely some? don't. I don't know what's in there. It's nice and salty around the lip, uh, like a mixed beverage. Gross. Mm -hmm. It's just weird. I didn't like Gatorade for a long time because it always had that like salty, like salty, salty electrolyte taste. Really? But now I, but I now love I, Gatorade. Well, now I do. But like when I was first growing up, mm. I was always like, oh, this is like kind of salty flavored. I always really liked Gatorade growing up. Did you? Yeah. Do you have a Even, favorite flavor you know what? slash color? Uh, I liked the Frost, the Gatorade Frost oh, flavors. Oh, I like Frost. Yeah, the Blue Frost and the Green Frost were my favorites. I didn't know, I don't know what those are called now, but those were, and the White Frost, I always thought was really good. You chill them down until they're really cold. You know, what? Well, because what was weird? Was it growing green up? Green Frost? Uh, green that, Frost seems weird to Definitely me, that. Honestly. Uh, but growing up doing swimming, you're, you're still supposed to drink water well, while you're swimming. But it's very, but you don't get thirsty because you always have, yeah, you water, have water in your on mouth you. and right. on you all the time. Stephanie, if you have water in your mouth, you probably are doing a bad job of swimming. Thanks, thanks, bro. Yeah, no problem. Pro tip, if you're swimming and you got water in your mouth, you're not doing good. <laughs> That's called drowning. That's called drowning. That's called the opposite of swimming. That's called drowning. Uh, so might not want that. Hilarious. Just, so, just saying. So, uh, yeah. Pro tips. But it, but it was hard to motivate yourself to drink water because you're never thirsty, uh -huh, right? Sure. But Gatorade tasted really good, and so it was one of the, those few things that I would actually like. I would actually drink. I explored up here already, right, didn't I? That's where I did this section already. Right. Oh god, yeah, that's right. He was back there. Oh, I got cool blue next to me right now. Says Shashi, Sashi Yoshino. Oh, that sounds awesome. Cool Some good blue. Good Gatorade. Right. I feel like Gatorade has kind of like. People are all about like the vitamin, their vitamin waters they, and or or like smart um, waters smart nowadays. Water, yeah. And it's like no, give me some give, Gatorade. Give me some flavored water. I'm really, in the with the 41 days without Diet Coke, uh, I'm really into like crystal light drink beverages. Mm -hmm. Oh, where they you just have the like flavor gallons at a time. They have the the water droplet flavors now. Um, my mom has this really good electrolyte water. I feel like everyone's in on this game at this point. They're all in on the game. Yeah. They all know. Uh, but yeah, I'm, I've been really into, like there, I didn't even know where the thing was. Um, where I'm, I've been really into those like flavor, it feels like there should be a locker around here or something. Uh, in the wake of so giving Ollie up calls Diet it Coke. Da Ollie calls it daddy tea. Yeah, well, cause I drink tea. And so all the tea that I drink is mommy's tea, and then daddy's tea is just crystal. flavored crystal light. <laughs> it is, and it's 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 either like, oh, ah, there we go, I avoided him. Uh, it's either iced tea, like flavored iced teas, like lemon iced tea, raspberry iced tea, stuff like that, mm -hmm. or fruit punches. And so I have a lot of like red tea. Yeah, daddy red tea. Daddy coffee red tea. coffee doodles brings up the the elephant in the room, which is Lacroix. Oh, no, uh, soda water with zero everything. I actually don't like LaCroix. I know. Don't tell anyone in, in California don't, that. Yeah, they don't will, tell anyone we know. They will hang you out to dry. If you go to meetings in, in anyone's like professional offices, we've been to meetings, I mean, everywhere, literally from Google to Netflix oh, to... It is the go-to beverage of all Los of the, Angeles right the now. The lawyers, the agents, all of them, they just stock these fridges full of LaCroix, yep. which is pronounced LaCroix, unfortunately, even, even though, though it should French, be pronounced LaCroix. La yeah, La um, whatever. Anyway, so, but they all have it and they're all like, oh my gosh, you have to try this new flavor of LaCroix. And I'm like, 
Okay, and then they're never. It's not. I just don't like it. I'm not good. sorry. No, no, no. I just don't like it. Sorry, there, there goes Unpopular our LaCroix opinion. sponsorship. I know. Which is totally fine because I, I. Yeah, neither of us drink still, it. But still, I just. Yeah. It's, I yeah. want. And the, here's the thing. I want to like it because it doesn't have any calories. It's like. It's not supposed to be that bad for you. <laughs> I want to like Bless it because you. it's omnipresent here in yeah, California. Yeah, and you can get and it everywhere. You can get it anywhere, and yet, like, and a lot of times it's the only, like, you go to Google offices, and it, at this point it's, like, one of the only beverages that they'll shoot. It's one of the only beverages that they have, and go. go. Right? Why, why are you not sprinting him at home? Oh, my gosh. Oh, my gosh. Oh, thank you. Someone is validating us in the chat. Spectr Spectrum Elf said, LA is drowning in LaCroix, and it's garbage. <laughs> And Diablo Graves says, Californian here, LaCroix is overrated. Oh, thank you. Thank Someone you, guys. Can validate thank you. This. Well, it's, uh, yeah, I don't know. For me, and I've, I've talked about this on, on the stream before. CJ but Conception says, LaCroix tastes like bubbles and sadness. I wouldn't go, <laughs> I wouldn't go that far. It ta it's bubbles and I, 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 It's a lot like Hollywood, where, where it gets a lot of sadness. hype. It's it's sparkly and shiny. It gets a lot of hype, but the inside is just kind of meh. Oh, don't you dare! Don't you dare! Fly away! Fly away! There. Okay. Um, Chris, do you are you a Lacroix man? Do you like? I won't judge. No, I always think it's a uh, San Pellegrino like juice flavored thing. Yeah. Whatever those cans are, and yeah. then when I drink it, I realize it's not that, and I become sad. I know those San Pellegrino juice flavored things. I think are like six dollars each, but they actually are pretty good. They're they slightly. So they're sl they're I slightly I never drink better. them, but they also have calories, which is why you see the Lacroix and not those. <laughs> Well, the thing, and the thing I was gonna say is my my problem with a lot of the, the like flavored waters at this point, a lot, a lot of, or at least those sorts of like carbonated flavored waters, there's not a flavor. Like the flavor, mm -hmm. like the the carbonation and the, I I don't know. I like things that have flavor and like strong flavors. And so all of these, you know, lightly flavored tinted waters and stuff like that. Just not enough for it's you. It's not enough, and so it's all carbonation, and carbonated water in general I don't really like, but then to add on top like this kind of partial watery non-flavor, it's just gross. Yeah, I, I Why do wouldn't I like just drink soda or like a tea or something that has an actual flavor attached to it at that point? I do feel like we should play the other side of the field. Galsa, uh, Seton or Keaton says, I love LaCroix. I, everyone here seems to love it. Uh, Animated Everyone Mumu in LA. says LaCroix is epic. Uh, wow. Uh, is it epic? LaCroix is better than water, though, says Asa Hoffman. Uh, I, I struggle with that one. Right? Water. I live in Trust Australia. Me, I, what is LaCroix, says Awkward <laughs> Animation. It's just, it's carbonated water that everyone here is really obsessed with. And for some reason, it's like pervaded all of the professional settings in Los Angeles. Oh, so no matter what yeah. office you go to, no matter who you're having a meeting with, they will always offer you a LaCroix. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's it's carbonated. I don't know it's, it's why. It's carbonated water with like light, light flavors. I, mean, I am really. drinking a LaCroix right now. Says Chirilo. Sorry. And here, no here shame. we know. Yeah, yeah it's that's fine. the thing. We Get know it. that we have the unpopular opinion yeah, here because everybody's here. drinking it. We have to have the unpopular opinion. Right. Like everyone is. else has to really like yeah, it. Yeah, they are they are doing well for themselves. So they don't need our approval by any means. Yeah. But uh, ice carbonated water is good though. Okay, yes, that's great. I the ice ones. Ice carbonated water. You you drank one. Oh, those. Lunch. Yeah, those are good because they because again those have a lot of flavor. Yeah. Like I like those because they have a lot of like I I need that. Right. Like I like stuff that actually has a bit of substance and a bit of taste to them. The Lacroix are just too watery. Right. All carbonation, no flavor. <laughs> <laughs> okay, but I really like the, the analogies that people are coming up with. Anorak Bubbles and trend, sadness was a winner. Anorak trend might top it. LaCroix tastes like TV static while someone yells a flavor at you from the next room. <laughs> that was so good. That was really very good. <laughs> that was amazing. Uh, oh, that is good. And then Wyma <laughs> says, LaCroix more like the crap. <laughs> Which I also appreciate. Oh, man. Uh, well, someone. I don't mean to. And, and that's not to turn anyone off of LaCroix. Maybe there's no, a flavor it. of it out there try that it. I haven't tried Please. that I would like, but I, I just haven't is, found it yet. The thing is, I, I try the flavors. I really do. Yeah, like, we've when tried a lot of them. Like when I'm in a situation where there's like a, a, a free LaCroix, because there's always a free LaCroix everywhere in LA. 
and, and it's like, oh, this is a new flavor. I'm like, okay, I'll try it. Like, I will continue to keep an open mind about this beverage. Yeah. And I, still, nothing. I just can't do it. I can't find it. Yep. I can't, I, all of them. I'm like, oh, this one sounds like it'll be really good. And then it just <laughs> never, never hits the mark for me. I know. I feel so bad saying that. I feel like everyone that we've ever done business with right now, if they watched this live stream and heard this quote, they would immediately pull out of business. I know. With us. The, uh, uh, like, right. How dare you? We're dropping them. Right? Like, how dare you guys? Uh, the, the analogies are getting a little out of control. I don't uh, know. Plasma Snow Second Account says LaCroix tastes like dragon spit mixed with nightmares. <laughs> No, see, that's see, I got to, I got to disagree. Gone, you got that's, too that's, too, that's too strong of a flavor. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> see, I've had dragon spit mixed with nightmares. That's, that, that is too strong of a flavor, my friend. Someone else said it tasted like fruit if you just ran the fruit under tap water. <laughs> I mean, that's Like, accurate. and then just drank the water. I mean, that is, that is 100% true. Drink. A depressing cup of Sprite. <laughs> <laughs> sprite depression. <laughs> <coughs> here's a Sprite Cranberry. No, here's a Sprite Depression. Uh, <laughs> I like that. Uh, <laughs> sprite Cranberry? Not very good. No. Whoa. No, I agree with Chris, actually. You've tasted it too, haven't you? It's fine. Because what you want is cranberry juice and Sprite, and that's just not what it is. Yeah. <laughs> wow. Man, there's a lot of drink shade going on. I know. I, I, but no, I agree with Sprite that one Cranberry too. Sprite Cranberry was a meme, guys. I really wanted to like Sprite Cranberry too, which is why I very distinctly remember that I didn't like it. <laughs> um, and I Shoot. love, I know there like was we've done, um, <sighs> we've done like a Cranberry Ginger Ale, which was pretty good. We've done like um, Cranberry, uh, uh, like Ginger Ale Lemonade. That's good. The Sprite Cranberry, I wanted to like it and I just don't. I'm so sorry. I'm, I'm just going to continue reading some Please. of these analogies. These are even great. Uh, I, I can't promise they're all great, but but they're all interesting. Uh, LaCroix is a soda reject, uh, says Annalise Pascal. Melinda Morgan uh, says, I have to disagree. As someone who doesn't like carbonation, it does taste like dragon spit. <coughs> Amelia Rowe <laughs> says, LaCroix tastes like getting an 80 on a test, even though someone told you the answers ahead of time. <laughs> That's a good one too. <laughs> I like that one. <laughs> That's really funny. Uh, just so you know, I'm not just throwing my life away. Here. And I'm, I'm not to... here. Says Sprite Cranberry is great. Yeah, I, I don't know. I gotta disagree. The Sprite Cranberry, at, at the very least, is is decent. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Boy Gamer TV says, "Hey, want a Sprite Depression? The answer is clear." <laughs> <laughs> so. Uh, Supplies rescued. So I, I've got a bunch of supplies at this point. I've, I've still only... F I'm opening all these darn lockers. I have found zero tunes. I have found one scrap or... Yeah. Like... Great. Yeah, it doesn't seem like... I haven't found a whole... Like progress I, I, is too, too quick here. Right? I, I've done... Back in just four, asked how many scraps you got. One. one. I got one scrap. One. I got zero things, and I'm on. Uh, and uh, don't get me wrong, I am literally. I feel like I'm canvassing a good amount of these maps. Like I'm opening a lot of lockers here, but we're on day six, mm. and still not a whole lot. Like I, I want the scraps, my friends. I'm trying. <laughs> Hype Destroyer has a, has a Lacroix flavor for us. Lacroix, microscopic hint of lime. That's <laughs> that's accurate. what it is. That's that's the accurate <laughs> description. Huh, Yang Yang, Truth in advertising Yang right there. Gaming actually has an interesting factoid. Oh, okay. LaCroix is essenced, meaning it's herbs, fruit, and spices vaporized in water in water to vapor, which here. is then collected into water and then mixed with carbonated water. Really? Is that which what is, it is? So it's it's a long way from the fruit. Is I was what gonna I, say, what we're right. Saying. That's like ten steps removed from actual flavor. That's my problem. Yeah. You want flavor? Well, go backwards ten steps and you'll find it. There it is. I'd like, I'd like my, I'd like my soda, but just with a, with a little less flavoring. Mm, is yeah. that possible? Let's, let's do that. Can we water it down just, just a whole heck of a lot more? Right. Just. It's like, it's like my mom when she has French fries. Back in the day when I was growing up, my mom was really into salt on her French fries, and so she would literally like pour out salt and like 
grind her fries into it. And so the joke that my dad and I would... Oh, Probably still does that. So sometimes it depends on the fry. But anyway, long I was gonna say, I, I, like it's just, a, I think it's just a, a taste thing, though. No, but but the thing I was gonna say though is the joke that we would always tell my mom, or like the thing that we would always like say is like, oh, you want, you want fry with that salt? Because it was, it was like ninety percent salt and like ten percent fry. Oh. Like there was, and, and probably zero percent potato based on the fact that we were getting it from fast food places. So so no potato. <laughs> All salt. Oh, and a little hint of grease. A little, little hint of grease. As your mom gets older, though, she's going to be so <coughs> well preserved. Oh, salt, certainly. Salt is an excellent <laughs> preservative. Oh, absolutely. <laughs> Dehydrated for days. Right? Where you at, okay. buddy? All right, well, here he is. He's, he's coming at me. He's coming at me like a spooky boy. He's like a, a spooky, spooky boy. boy. He's a spooky boy. Slow man. <laughs> I was playing basketball with my cousin when I was growing up. I don't Wait, know why. Wait, what? I know. That yeah. doesn't sound right. It, nope. <laughs> yep. <laughs> yeah, I did it though. It was weird. I already called was, foul. I no, think this story's a lie. It's not. It's 100% true because I'll never, I will never forget this one. So we were playing a horse, which is like basketball yeah, yeah. light. It's for, you know, it's That's it's for people fine. who don't want the like athletic skill of basketball. We want to just can, like, shoot the ball. We don't want to run around. Yeah, yeah. Anything. For the people who could just shoot the ball and sometimes get a shot in. So, so we're playing horse in his driveway, playing basketball, and I made a shot, lo and behold, go, miraculous, Whoa, I know. Was it H, or was you up to like R? No, I made a, just a shot, I made the shot that he would then have to replicate. Oh, okay. It was a particularly good shot, and he's like, oh wait, no, no, sorry, he made the shot. I'm, I'm, sure. I'm mixing, no, sure, he, man. he made the shot, and, he's and this, like, then no. this was basketball yeah. that was happening. <laughs> he, he made the shot, and and he was very proud of his shot. And he's like, "All day, man." To which I responded, "Well, then you need a calendar." Oh, that was that was my geez. trash talk. Well, I know that that, that sort comeback. of yeah. That was my oh. that was my cringy comeback. Oh. And so, <laughs> wow. And so you, see now you believe the story because it's totally a comeback that I would I would say. Yeah. Oh, that okay. You here. redeemed it. That, that is the thing that you would say during a basketball. In a basketball game. You need a, oh yeah? Well, you need a calendar, man. That's what I said. That was that was my comeback to his his good shot in a game of basketball. Wow. So, anyway, I forget. You showed him. I forget why I told that story. Oh, darn it. Oh, I was man. hoping that I would find something. I don't know why I told that story. We were talking about bad comebacks or something. Right. And so I'm like, oh, this reminds me of that time that I made a, a cringe-inducing comeback. comeback in front of my cousin. In a game of basketball. You called him Slow Man. Oh, that's right, Slow Man. <laughs> oh, yeah. So really, I'm really good at trash talk is what I'm saying in today's live stream. <laughs> All right, you've got about five talk, minutes, and we have, to, we have to skedaddle. When it comes to trash talk, I am the best. Hey. Uh, at Cranky Theorist says, LaCroix is the beverage equivalent to Slow Man. <laughs> <laughs> And the last you need a flavor, slow man. Circle. <laughs> <coughs> Get LaCroix. a flavor, flavor man. Samuel Cameron Michael on Twitter says, "Lacroix is for people who don't know how to taste." Thank you. I feel. Thank you, everyone. I just feel so vindicated in this live stream because I thought that we were just the only people who did not like Lacroix. I and also the only people who were annoyed that we have to pronounce it Lacroix instead oh. of the actual way that it should be pronounced. Yeah, I can't tell what's more frustrating or offensive. <laughs> the chat says that was a very GT Live thing for you to say, that comeback. You need a calendar. Yeah, you yeah. need a calendar. Well, that's you need a calendar, man. <laughs> if GT Live played basketball, that's what our collective comeback would that's, be. That's pretty accurate. I feel, I feel like that's fair. <laughs> nope, nothing. So here's here's my assessment of Bendy and the or Boris and the Dark Survival. Your title doesn't make a whole lot of sense. I mean, we are surviving. It is pretty dark, and we're playing as Boris. So actually, I think their title makes perfect sense. Wow, well, that's nice stuff. That. I'm just saying, oh. the elements are all there. It's not like this. Get was in the called, door. Get. It's not like this was called Bendy's Voyage Across the Sea. That would be that would be very misleading. I feel like. <laughs> situation. So anyway, the, 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 the title isn't my favorite. 
the game Alice play. Angel's Fishing Adventure. That would be an inaccurate title. I don't know. Like, okay, so here's here's the takeaway. I, Boris boards the train. That would be not that would I, be not representing this yeah, game. Is this, hold up, is this a, is this an audio log? Can I listen to this audio log? No, that's okay. I can't help but the exact same thing we heard earlier. Yeah. That's the same thing we oh, heard already. On. That was the same lore. We heard the same lore. Okay. All right. I, My, got, I have to go get the, I have to go get the kiddo. We no, have you, a, you, no, you we don't. Have the kiddo. We, we have to film something. Wait, what? We talked about this. Anyway, the, the assessment of, the assessment of this is, I don't know, randomly generated dungeons. Roguelikes? Roguelikes. Roguelikes. Lose a little bit of something. Which is fine, but you need the gameplay to match it. And yeah. I think in this case, the, Maybe game, a few tweaks. the gameplay would lend itself to a more strategically placed set of items that you can ramp up, like a lot of the tension that you're going for, rather than it feeling like it's kind of a, 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 a roll of the dice, whether or not I'm going to be able to survive any encounter. Yeah. Uh, I also... Worry a little bit. I, I worry a little bit in general about some of the, like, between uh, Showdown Bandit and this game. I worry a little bit about the, that, that Kindly Beast is moving away from the games that, or like the type of game that was really successful in Bendy, which was a cool aesthetic and like simple exploration in a very interesting world with like good jump scares. And... I don't know. The the last love couple. a good jump scare. And 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 also like mysterious lore hidden throughout. And here it's it, you're not getting a lot of that tension and that storytelling that made yeah. Bendy such a huge success. The and third so, person perspective takes you out of it a bit. There are a few things, but and so but, I'm hoping I'm hoping that in Bendy or the Ale Bendy and the Dark Revival, the whatever it ends one? up being, the, yeah. the, the actual game. I'm hoping that there's a little bit more of that. Yeah juice back into it. We'll see. Hopefully. In the meantime, we will be back tomorrow. tomorrow? We will. We'll be back tomorrow, tomorrow with a game that a lot of you have been eager to watch us play. 4 p.m. Pacific time. Same time, same couch. Be there. We will see you there. Indeed. Get your shirts before Thursday because they're gone on Thursday. Yeah, these things Thursday. disappear. So if you want GT Live merch. Skip or Pikachu or clap and a half on your back. Oh, look at that cutie. Well, the, or Steph and I, I guess, too. Yeah. Then get it before it's gone. The link it's gone is this right Thursday. down in the merch shelf right below this video. And we'll see you tomorrow. Remember. Just live just stream. Just, a live just stream. stream. It, it, why is it a stream? We're going to say goodbye in the chat. Bye in the chat. Bye. Or on Twitter. Or just uh, or on somewhere. Chat. Just anywhere. You're on Twitter. Oh, my gosh. What are you doing? Sorry, man. Victoria Cogswell says bye. Taylor Danzer says, bye guys. Love you. Rock on. Woo woo.